Masterton's getting a fresh lick of paint thanks to mural artists from across the country gathering to freshen up its walls. The project was conceived by Masterton Trust Lands Trust and pulled in some big names including Phlox, Sean Duffel, Lottie Hawley and duo Pip and Zoe Paint. Professionally created murals are a great way to bring art to the public. It's free access, it livens up and brightens up the CBD and it's a good way of placemaking a town. With the murals that we've created and we've invested in, they're relevant to the Wairarapa. They talk about the Wairarapa and the region's flora and fauna, the land and its people. So they're unique and specific and they're a great way to connect our community with art. Blenheim graphic artist Sean Duffel chose the Ruru or Moor Pork as his central theme on this Queen Street mural, adorned with native plants using traditional Māori medicine. Martinborough multimedia artist Lottie Hawley's mural Sink or Swim on Dixon Street brightens up the Education Centre's car park. Her work was inspired by children skipping stones by Wadarapa rivers. Hawley says the traditional vintage blanket wrapped around the far left Māori girl wraps around each child as a symbol of wind, warmth, current and tradition. The mural duo Pip and Zoe Payne joined forces on a Dixon Street wall just behind the Lone Star. So we're doing this for the Masterton Trust Lands Trust and um, they sort of gave us a few sort of um, leading options for a concept and we really liked the idea of the five rivers um, in the region. So that's the Wainawa River, Waipua, Wawahini, Ruamahanga and the Tohirumiko rivers. Um, so we looked at some of the like unique species that are found only in those and are sort of native to New Zealand and a few of them to this area and sort of yeah created a bit of an abstract piece that shows them all sort of weaving throughout the rivers. Over winter, the Wellington-based illustrators completed a mural in Carterton featuring bright and beautiful flowers, something they're frequently recognised for. I think it brightens up spaces and it also creates quite a nice conversation. Uh, we have lots of cool chats with the community. So yeah, a really nice conversation around art and it's really good for the local artists as well. Pip and Zoe are the only muralists involved in the project who work solely in brushwork, which presents a few challenges. Well, for this wall specifically, um, it's our first corrugated wall, so that's been sort of interesting um, in terms of sketching up the design and it's also like it holds the heat of the day quite strongly, so it's kind of almost like painting on a heater a little bit, so that's been a really unique challenge. <laughs> but, um, I mean, it's not too bad, we're getting there, we're learning. <laughs> Internationally recognised artist Phlox painted this mural entitled Past and Present Through Rain and Shine on Lincoln Road. Her mural is a homage to Masterton's Pukaha Wildlife Centre. The left side is symbolising our past while the right is sort of more celebration of the present and, and what we have and the treasures and the tonga that we have here, um, specifically here in, in Masterton. So the left side um, is dominated by the huia bird, which in the Wairarapa region was one of the last places that the huia was actually spotted when it was around. Um, and of course, it's now extinct. So that's sort of the main, where why I chose that bird there on the left, because it harks back to a time that is forgotten almost. You know, it's a symbol of something that, a treasure that we have lost. So the right side is a celebration of what we do have now. And the bird on the right is the kokako, which um, it's sort of renowned as the Pukaha ambassador um, because it is their success story in terms of um, regenerating that um, that bird and um, sort of bringing it back from the brink. That's the North Island Kokako, by the way. Yeah, because I've definitely heard from a mural artist before that it's kind of like each artwork on, on, a, on a wall, you're pouring your heart and soul onto the wall. Mm. Would you agree with that? Yeah, 100%. Like literally almost, you know, I'm sure I've left some, some hair and some blood and some sweat on the wall. <laughs> Who knows? Um, but yes, it is. It's um, it's almost like a real personal journey that is on public display too. Because what would you say to somebody who might be a creative? I don't know. It doesn't really matter the form that they're in currently. But what would you say to somebody looking to start working on murals? Um, I would say, yeah, find your process. There are many different ways to um, to take your <laughs> 
idea or your drawing or your concept to large scale um, as I mentioned before there's a few ways to do that if you're like you know there's some ridiculously talented artists here mural artists in New Zealand who don't even need to do any of that you know they just get up there and start sketching you know like this beautiful portrait of someone and you know they're just look, referring back to their A4 printout you know it's just there's some there's some crazy talent um but yeah I guess I would say um be prepared for some hard yakka um but as a result it's almost like giving birth it's like you know it's hard work but at the end you you get this like incredible baby that you're so proud of and um you know you just want to introduce it to the world so yeah it's um there's there's a lot of highs and lows but at the end of the day it's incredibly satisfying we're really keen to see more people getting involved in the mural creating process. We've visited a number of the colleges in Marsitton and spoken to the senior art students to see if they can get excited and engaged in creating murals. Also, when the artists were all in town, we invited local business uh, property owners and also local art groups to come and see the process, talk to the artists and hopefully engage and get inspired. We're really keen to get more property owners putting public art in our area and exposing our local art community to creating more murals. Marston and Trust Lands Trust has been around for 150 years and part of their act is encouraging arts and culture and heritage in our community. So we're actively involved with a lot of the arts community. We offer concessional rents to Aratoi and also to Hokainga, which is a locally based Māori arts and exhibition space and also Con Art. So we're helping them, supporting them with funding and encouraging art in our community. We also have uh, annual grants and funding for the arts community. So we're, that's a particular area that we're engaged in and would like to promote it and support it more. This is the start of our public art funding with the first four murals and we're looking at sculptures next. So just watch this space. Ellie Franco, Local Focus.